Hey everybody and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to add Authenticator in Salesforce. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time in Salesforce, I want you to click the sign up option. And from here, just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go. Adding an authenticator app in Salesforce, particularly for enabling multi-factor authentication or MFA is a straightforward process, but it does offer several important security and operational benefits. And for us to be able to do that, I want you to hover to the upper right corner, click the profile picture, and of course, click the settings. Once you are here, I want you to click on the advanced user details, wherein you have all these sections. I'm going to zoom it out for you guys. And these are going to be your options. All right. You can add a one-time password authenticator. Or you can add a Salesforce authenticator depending on your preferences and needs. But I'm going to choose the uh, second one. If you click on connect, you would be able to... Uh, I'm going to check my email and put in the uh, verification code very quickly and as you can see this is going to be the uh, verification code i'm gonna copy it and paste it on the uh, salesforce and then from here click on verify now you want to put in a two-word phrase i'm going to put in maybe the labs click on connect and then now we are going to install the uh, Salesforce Authenticator on the mobile device from the App Store or Google Play. All right, so let's do that. Now, from here, all I have to do is click the uh, Salesforce Authenticator. All right, waiting up for it to load. Once it's installed, click on Open. Registering using the email address and from here all I have to do is just follow the on-screen instructions now basically The screen share wouldn't let me share the Authenticator settings, but by adding the authenticator app in Salesforce you significantly reduce the risk of unauthorized access and of course enhance the overall security of your Salesforce data and that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next one.